Hello everyone, in this class we are going to discuss about STP. I hope you remember the STP theory already we discussed, spanning tree protocol. So now we are going to verify in the lab. STP is nothing but spanning tree protocol. Why we are using STP? We are using STP because STP is going to remove the loop in L2 network. Okay, in the LAN network if you are using the switches, we will not have the loop because of the STP. So how we can define STP? We can say STP is a spanning tree protocol which is used to remove the loop from the network. Okay, so let's see here. Example, I will take some what we can say switch. I taken the two switch here. I connected with the cable. If you see I connected here. I have two link. I am taking two link. So because we have two links so we will have loop in the network and if you see here this color umbert color they are doing the election they are sending the data they are sending the bpdu they are doing the election here after that one switch will become as a king switch okay quick king switch or root bridge we can say as we discuss in our theory class one switch will become as a king switch or root bridge other switch will become as a non root bridge and whoever is going to become as a king or root bridge his all ports will be in the forwarding state and the other one will be one will be block so if you see here what we have here we have this port is in the forwarding this one is in forwarding here also it is in the forwarding and this one is in the block state because this link is creating the loop in the network that's why they block this one okay if you cannot see this one let me remove the interface label so you can see easily I will go here option preference and remove always show the port label uncheck that one so now you can see here I have here the green that means ports are in the forwarding but here if you see it is blocked this port is blocked other ports are in the forwarding so STP is working that's why they are blocking here how we can check STP is working or not take the CLI of the switch okay and here I will do basic configuration first of all I will say this is a switch one okay and now let me save this configuration now what I will do I will write here show spanning tree and press enter when you get this detail we can say spanning tree protocol is working if you see here spanning tree protocol is working for VLAN one so this is a VLAN one for VLAN one STP is working and this is the information of the root bridge as we discuss in our theory this is the information for the root bridge and this is the information of the bridge id this bridge id is nothing but this local switch this one so in you if you see here also this bridge is a root bridge so this is only the king switch this switch is only the king switch so if you see this detail and this detail both detail will be same if you check the mac address here both mac address is same here so this guy this switch is a king switch now root bridge so all the ports will be in the forwarding state so if you see all the ports are in the forwarding state and if you want here to check this one if you type here show spanning tree you will get the information here let me do basic configuration i will change the host name as sw2 and let me save the configuration and come outside i will write show spanning tree and you can see here one port is in the blocking state this one okay one port is in the blocking state and if you see this is a king switch mac address and this is a local switch that is our this switch mac address both are different okay so what we can say root id is nothing but king switch information that is a bridge root bridge information is this one from here to here and from here to here is a the local switch information this switch information bridge id is nothing but that switch itself so if you want you can disable but in the production network don't disable this one how we can disable example if you don't want this is stp to work here you will go in the global configuration mode you will write no spanning tree for which vlan you want to disable you will write vlan number with this command you will disable the stp but don't do in the production network you will have lot of issue if you disable this one just for lab purpose you can disable i will go in the global configuration mode i will type here no spanning tree vlan one okay i disable here now if you check all links are 
green here all are in the forwarding so data will go like this and that same frame will come back so we will have loop in the network if stp is not there we will have the broadcast storm like this if we don't have the stp we will have the broadcast storm we have the multiple frame okay so database will be unstable so this three problem we will have when we don't have the stp broadcast storm we can say multiple frame we can say and database mac database is unstable okay database is unstable what we discuss in the theory that one i am saying here unstable we can say and also we can check that also when we connect the computer we can check the frame is moving sometime it is coming from one interface sometime it is coming from another interface but don't disable this in the production network so what we will do i will enable now if you want to enable how you will enable just you will write in the global configuration spanning tree vlan 1 with this command we will enable okay so what we will do i will copy the same thing i will go to the other switch here i will enable i will go in the global configuration mode i will go here and i will paste this here so with this command it is enable now so they will take some time if you remember we told in the theory whenever we connect the cable it will take 30 to 50 second 30 to 50 second why it is taking 15 second for listening 15 second for learning listening learning and if the port is in the block state if the port is in the block state then it will take 20 second okay so what we are saying if you add 30 plus 20 is equal to 50 so that's why we are saying 30 to 50 second why i am saying 30 second 30 second because we have 15 second listening 15 second learning so that will be 30 second if the port is not blocked it will take 30 second to link go up if the port is in the block state then it will take the 50 second because port need to move from the block to listening learning so it will take 20 second move uh, port is going to take 20 second to move from the block state to listening state they will take 20 second and here they are taking 15 15 so this will be 30 and this will be 20 so total will be 50 second so what we can say when we connected the new link to the switch it will take 30 to 50 second to start forwarding of frame when they are doing listening learning they are not going to forward any frame just they are going to discard that one okay when they are listening learning they are not going to forward when the port move into forwarding state then they are going to start forwarding of frame and they are using the bp du bridge protocol data unit there is a small frame they are sending from this switch to here key root bridge is going to send that one that is known as bpdu we have three types of bpdu one is configuration bpdu one is topology change notification one is topology change acknowledgement okay so configuration bpdu we have we have the topology change notification bpdu we have topology change notification acknowledgement so we have three types of bpdu in our next class we will see that one also or i will show you no issue that one so now you need to remember switch are sending the small frame that is nothing but bpdu in the bpdu they have the switch priority port number mac address they are exchanging and they are doing the election they are selecting one as a king switch and king switch is sending the bpdu and every two seconds they are going to send the bpdu bpdu stands for bridge protocol data unit bridge protocol data unit every two seconds they are sending the bpdu and if you have anything change example if i remove this link or i connect one more link they will have one more bpdu saying that topology change notification so other switch is going to confirm topology change notification they are going to confirm that one and again they will send the configuration bpdu they will do the again election and they will do the calculation they are doing the calculation that is known as spanning tree algorithm so they are going to do the spanning tree algorithm to fi figure out that one okay so i hope this one is clear in case if you face any issue whatsapp us join our telegram channel we are going to start very soon ccna live batch if you want to join that one whatsapp us so you can get the detail about that one okay thank you bye